welcome to this video tutorial. Let's get to walk you through how to create your menu or product list on your social ordering uh, app here. Um, so to begin, you're going to go to your social ordering drop down and click on menu slash product lists. And before we dive in here, I want to note that um, you can really use this uh, as much or as little as you want in terms of how robust and in depth you want to get. And what, what I mean by that is some businesses will use this feature for as little as, for example, uh, selling their gift cards online um, in $25 increments, in which case your menu slash product list will probably just say gift cards. Uh, if you're planning on, in this example today, uh, for example, using a, a restaurant and listing an entire restaurant's um, menu, appetizers, uh, entrees, lunch, dinner, etc., uh, then you're going to obviously need to um, use this more robustly and you're going to need to add each item individually along with a photo if you want a photo to accompany each product, our menu item, a description, a summary, etc. So we're going to dive into all that. I just wanted to make a note of that, that uh, depending on plan on using this is going to influence how much kind of work goes into it. So let's uh, start out here, and assuming uh, we're working with a restaurant, let's go ahead and create a dinner menu. So now we're here in our menu slash product list, and we have our dinner menu. You'll see that there's a drop down. There's only one option here. So if you want to add a new list, um, let's say you wanted to add lunch in, a, uh, in addition to dinner, you can click on manage lists and you'll see our dinner menu slash list is here and we can go ahead and add a new one. So I'm going to go ahead and add lunch to our list. And now we have lunch and dinner and you can reorder these by dragging and dropping right here. Uh, rename it by editing or obviously delete it if you need to do that. So we'll click back and now you'll see we have our two menu slash product lists. So what you want to do from here is add a category. So we have our dinner menu. And if you think of a menu, uh, it's usually divided into different uh, categories, uh, such as appetizers, entrees, desserts. So for example, we can add appetizers as our first category. And you'll see now we have an appetizers list. And just for good measure, I'll add a second category and name it entrees. So now we have appetizers and entrees, and um, as you'll see, we want to begin adding items under those categories. So you click Add Item, and you can see when you click on that, you can actually toggle between which category you want it to go under, appetizers or entrees. And so you're just going to walk through this, give it a name. So for this example, I'll do uh, Pork Pops, give it a price. And then if you want to set an inventory, uh, inter uh, meaning how many of these products you have on hand, you can do that here. So let's say you currently have 50 of these um, to sell online. You can put 50 here, and then you can set an alert for this specific product. Now, you can actually set an alert level um, in your configuration tab uh, for all of your products. So if you're doing that, you can leave this set to zero, and it'll automatically default to whatever um, email alert uh, that you have configured in your configuration section. Meaning if you get down to that level, let's say you have this number set to 10, uh, when you've enough orders have come in that it goes down to uh, you have 10 of this product left, you'll automatically get sent an email notifying you that you know, you're running low on this product. You can also assign a specific delivery fee for this specific product. Um, otherwise, you can also have a, a general blanket delivery fee, again, in your configuration page here. So go ahead and check that out if you want a delivery fee for the whole delivery order. Otherwise, you can have a delivery fee for this specific product if need be. So, um, you know, this wouldn't be as applicable for restaurants, but for example, if you're shipping something, uh, if this item is kind of heavier than other items and, and there, thereby uh, it's going to cost you more to ship it, maybe you can do, that's where this delivery fee on a per item basis would make sense. Um, so you can see here, you can charge a delivery fee for each item or not by checking or unchecking this box. 
and make it taxable or not by checking or unchecking this box. And so again, like these other settings, the tax percentage can be configured in your configuration uh, section here. Um, so if you have this checked off and you have a, a percentage tax uh, set up in your configuration page, it'll apply that tax to this product. So now um, here we go with the summary and description. So the summary um, is basically going to be your preview. So you can say, for example, barbecue pork pops. And in your description, you'll want to add a little bit more uh, information about it. So, um, you know, to... something to that effect. And then you can save that and upload an image. So you'll see that it's saved. And now we can go ahead and choose an image to upload with this. So I'm going to go ahead and upload our pork pops image and click upload. And you'll see it's uploaded. So now I'm going to show you what that looks like over here uh, by clicking on our social ordering. So there's, uh, again, under dinner, appetizers, there's my pork pops. Uh, and you can see the title here, the price in stock, we have 50 left, we saw we did that. This is the summary that we entered. And when we click on item details, you'll see that this is the description that we entered. Uh, so it's a little bit more information about that product. And then the user can come in here and add more or less to this and add it to their shopping cart. So let's go back to the menu and product list and show you just a couple of more kind of features here. Let's add another appetizer. And we're going to name this one popcorn shrimp. Give it a price. And we'll go through all these quickly. Oops. And we'll go ahead and save that, upload an image. <laughs> and what you can do here, what I'm getting at, is you can actually uh, create related items. So you can highlight um, other, well, I guess I don't have that image here. I apologize, I thought I did. Oh, nope, there it is, popcorn shrimp. Uh, you can add related items, uh, so you can highlight other items and kind of cross promote on those item pages. So when we scroll down here, you'll see that A, you can upload multiple images if you choose to. I only have one of this specific product, but if you were selling something that needed different views of that product, you can actually upload multiple images and that would create kind of a slideshow that people can preview the product. And you can also have related items. So we can add pork pops as the related uh, item here. So when we go back to our uh, social ordering here, you'll see we have our two appetizers listed. And when we click on popcorn shrimp, you'll see that we have related items, pork pops, and I can easily go over here and do that. And I can do the same uh, for pork pops as well. I can go back and make the popcorn shrimp, of course, a related item there. Um, other things that you can see here is there's, we have our inventory column here. There's 50 of the pork pops, zero of the uh, popcorn shrimp. So if you wanna click manage next to an, uh, a, a product here, you can add different kinds of um, uh, options to this. So let's say that this popcorn shrimp, for example, comes with uh, different sauces, dipping sauces. You can say, add a dipping sauce, and you can make a minimum number of choices that the user has to uh, enter or a maximum number that they have to enter. Otherwise, you can leave this as zero for unlimited uh, and hit save. And now you'll see the ability to add options here. So let's say you got, you know, um, ranch and you're gonna be charging, uh, you know, 50 cents for that, for example. You can do that. And you can do the same with 
let's just add one more option for good measure. You can add marinara for another uh, 50 cents and click save. And so you'll see that this is pretty robust for you to add, you know, sub kind of options for each individual product. So if we go back here and click through to the popcorn shrimp, um, oh, you know what? I need to add um, inventory for this product, which is why it's not showing any here. So let's add 30 of these so that we have it. So again, when we go back to this product, you'll see it's in stock, we have 30. And now we have our, uh, add our dipping sauce and the user can then add whichever ones that they want and go through the process as they normally would, add that to their shopping cart, whatever else. So you can see that all of that is added up right here and they can then go ahead and place the order for pickup or delivery. You'll see some other functionality here, um, the ability to, uh, we already went over the options feature to edit the uh, product, to copy the product. That just makes it so that if you have two kind of like products, you can quickly and easily just make a copy of it um, and go in and edit, you know, whatever small details that you might want uh, here. You can go ahead and delete any uh, unwanted uh, items here, obviously. You can uh, copy entire sections of the menu if you want to here. Um, and then, of course, if you want to add items to your lunch menu, you can click right here and toggle over to lunch and begin getting to work on that menu. So I believe that that was everything that you need to know about how to kind of add and manage uh, your menu or product list here. But again, if you want to wrap your head around it, again, this can be used as largely or as small as you'd like to. So again, the example that I gave you today is assuming, for example, that we're a restaurant adding an entire restaurant menu. So now you can kind of see the work that goes into that. Um, but you can also, again, like I mentioned at the very beginning, use this to sell, for example, just gift cards and $25 uh, increments, which is a great idea, for example, for the holiday season. You could uh, also just have a, a, a gift card as a menu option here. Um, you know, so you can kind of have that be part of your menu and people can come in here and place an order for your different uh, uh, products here and maybe pick up a gift card before they leave. Um, but again, you can make this as robust or as small as you want. But uh, I do hope that this was helpful and uh, thank you very much.